Not long ago, a client contacted me and she said, oh my God, my intuition has just vanished. It's gone. I feel like a psychic potato. What's going on? What have I done wrong? And you know what? The first thing I asked her was, what else is going on in your life? And of course she said, oh, well, you know, I'm moving house and I'm changing jobs and I'm fighting with my relatives and I've got this dress and I'm really worried about this. And it was like, yeah, that's what's going on because we cannot be intuitive when we're stressed out. It's like our stress takes up all this space in our mind and that's the bit where we need for our psychic app. So we can't really be intuitive when we're freaked out, or we're stressed, or we're processing. Many years ago, I had a meltdown. A total psychic, nervous meltdown. I took myself to Byron Bay for it though, so at least I was in good company. And I went up there because I desperately wanted to be a healer. I wanted to channel spirit and I wanted to be a healer and all this kind of stuff. And Byron Bay, if you don't know it, is like the mecca for new age stuff. It's like everyone's kind of, you know, everyone channels everybody up there. So I went to Byron Bay and I opened up a shop and it was a healing sanctuary. And I was open for business for about eight months and I had my own complete meltdown, complete meltdown. And it was like my soul had said, okay girl, you want to be a healer? You want to do all this work? Well, guess what? You got to heal yourself first. And it was such a rocky ride. I was ill for quite some time. I could barely go from my house to the supermarket to work to run my business. If you are like that, if you suddenly go along your path and everything's dandy and then Oh my God, what's happened? Nothing's working. I'm a psychic potato. It's because you're taking time out to heal. When you sit in meditation, especially if you do the My Shiny Light meditation recommended for psychic ability, and nothing's happening. You know what, there is something happening. It's just going on behind the scenes, backstage. And there's this idea, oh, we've got to have it all the time. We've got to see the results like this, bang, bang. You know, psychic ability is not drive through. You're not going to get your extra big fries just because you do a couple more meditations. So just know that if your intuition vanishes, it's because something else is going on just as important. No time that we spend working on our intuition, meditating, walking, yoga, personal care, tapping, all that stuff never goes to waste. It's always held in account ready for us. And be sure when the stress vanishes, when you do your personal healing, your psychic ability will come back bigger and better than before. So if you're worried or concerned about that or you want to check in, I've got a little quick fabulous session for you. It's called How You Must Be Psychic. It's one of my most popular ones and it's where you can just check in, get all your questions answered. We'll have a little peek in your aura make sure everything's gorgeous in there and give you an insight as to what your psychic gifts and skills are now and what your soul gifts might be coming through for the future. So that's a session called How You Must Be Psychic. Love to see you there. And of course, I'll give you the links below. Otherwise, have a gorgeous day. And once again, thanks for watching. Ciao. You know, and I've, I've got, sit down here. Can you hear that?